Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitch on Your Floor. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. Well, today is floss tube day. It is my 192nd floss tube. It is September 5th, 2023 already. You know, if we blink, it's going to be Christmas. It, it's just, yeah, it is. It's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, it has been a week. Did a few things. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Between the computer not having the software I need and everything else, it's like, holy camellies. Let's just do this, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. But I'm, I'm like, semi sort of got it figured out to the extent that at least I can get y'all video might not be the way I want it but yeah it's gonna be what it's gonna be so there you go so we were a little busy we had five reviews here and uh not a record breaking but seven starts yeah it, it was just one of those weeks right oh I better keep that there I'm never gonna know what happened so we'll start with the starts sorry this is in a crinkly bag I took everything else out but this and maybe one more so this is my beautiful blue fox and if I can get it where it needs to be big piece of paper. Isn't he pretty? He is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Sorry. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Mm. Love him. Yeah, the other day when I was just sitting here and not doing too much, I moved all this, these things that I'm going to show you to someplace else because they were all drooling at my feet and I couldn't take it anymore, so I, I moved them out of the way. Yeah, then I couldn't find them this morning. It was awesome. So, as you can see, that's what I got done. So, I have started on this side, and then I started working in his ear. So, not, not too much. But, yep, he's staying out just because I love the colors. Get the crinkle put away. Let me just, there you go. And worked a little more on this one. Hang on. Gotta get that out of my way. Alright, so we have the pumpkin, and I think it was... Who is that from? Pumpkin, pumpkin. New Craft Day. Yep. And my friend Jill, who has a YouTube channel, Jill Green, she's also working on this, but I started on this side and she started on that side. Wasn't planned that way. Just saying. That's how that all worked out. So, see me that started on the right hand side. I did start to put some of the black in just to see how that was all going to work. So, yeah, just got a few strands. I don't know why this goes all the way across. I'm going to check the pattern. I don't know if it's just due to the stained glassing and it just looks weird, so we'll check it out, but I think it's fine. All right, let me put all, whoops, nope, not you, all that down there. One of the other ones that I started, and all I have are these little pictures. It's that beautiful stained glass peacock with the flowers. And... I got this from DP Club's number. It was the second part of my DP Club. And I worked on this dark, dark red. Didn't get much done. It just kind of, trying to figure out what is what and which way everything goes. So I started on this side. So all that drools down through here. It's a little confetti. Just a bit. 
So I didn't make much progress on that one at all. Oh, please. I'm trying to get rid of the crinkle papers as I go. Then there was the stained glass butterfly and um, I got it from VP Clubs and it was part one of my review. I don't know why that's so blurry. Come on. I cleaned the thing. So just started in the upper right hand corner. Hang on. And that's all I got done because, yeah, I was just absolutely fried. I, I, yeah. It is what it is. Some things I made more progress on than others. Okay, this one is the turquoise castle. I call it castle. Looks more like a house down here, but it has all these uh, turrets. You know what I mean? For, uh, isn't that what they're called? Turrets? Turrent? Turrent? I can't say that word. You know what I mean. Yeah. It's so pretty, too. So, I actually started up here and put in a couple colors in that little general area, but that's all I got to stitch on it. I just lost a lot of steam. I, yeah, couldn't handle it. And let me just move that there. One of the other ones is from, this one's from Fan Cells. Let's see if I can show you that picture. They're pretty. I love it. I don't care if it's got 28 colors. I just don't care. So I started this one up at the top. And just did a few stitches right through there for the video. And yeah, I don't know. I got distracted. What can I say? Not much done on that one. And I think that's all the ones from the stores. Then, see if I can get a hold of it. I purchased this one. And I believe it came from fan cells too. Isn't that beautiful? Just love it. So we started, I have to look, right here from this building going that away. As you know, I put it on, wrestled and wrestled and wrestled with that thing on the scroll rod, trying to get, because it has, okay, it has two legs that come down. And you could set it right here. You could set it on a table if the table was low enough because it's just way too high. I tried to adjust it up, way down, up, down, up, down, over, flip the things, the feet. Got it rolled on there. Found a way to do that. Yeah, I moved that about four times over this way just to get up because it's, it's this wide when or more. So, yeah. My shoulders didn't like that. So we were done. Absolutely. So I took it off the, the thing. And that was all she wrote. Now, this thing is 180 by 64 centimeters. So as you can see, it, it's fairly tall. So I worked... On this building slash, I think there's trees up there. And then it came across here. I'm trying to get it so the light didn't shine through. Started working on this part of this building. And I've been working on the one that sits beside it. There's trees right here. And then there's that yellowish background. Yeah. So, as you can see on the back, I got all that part done so we're gonna keep at it just hacking away at it but it's now easier just to sit it in my hands and work this way across I don't know what's gonna happen when I get like towards the middle I guess I can roll it 
just like the other thing. So, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention that pumpkin. Every Saturday at 1 o'clock now, I'm going to be having Autumn Saturday. So, I'll be working on either the pumpkin or my Autumn House, which I think came from May Deer. I want to say, I got it from Amazon back, good Lord, probably 2019 or more. Yeah, somewhere in there. It's written on the, the bag. I just have to find it in that little mess over there. Let me get that little monstrosity out of the way. And I also worked on, I touched on this. I mean, I wouldn't say it. We got any exciting product or progress. This is from DIY Digital Art and it is 14 count 30 by 44. And it's called Morning Glory and Hummingbird. I saw it when I was going through some stuff and I was like, yeah, let me work on that. So I worked on these two low flowers right there. This was last night. Some days. When I'm just so tired, it just better be simple, you know. So, I almost got those done. They just need their little white put in. So, yep, like I said, not much, just moment by moment. And the other one that I was talking about on one of my videos, <clears throat> sorry, oh crap, I forgot my coffee. I'm sorry, we'll remember next week. What can I say? September! Yay! Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, people. Oh, my Lord. Are we together or what? Got coffee? It's like, no wonder I'm moving slowly. All right. This is called Enchanted Gardens, and I got it from One Day Saving way back in March. Yeah. So, isn't that cool? It's just... I like these partial things. You can just pick it up and, oh, we're just going to work on this or a little tree. or doesn't have to be anything big. Just put a few stitches in. Because I have not got hardly any progress on this at all. Yeah. So, yeah, I can't even. I put that red in in the flowers. And I started going around here. There's going to be a little sign there. So, yeah, just just a few things. And there's some flowers underneath that sign thing that I did. No big deal. I was like, yeah, why not? You know. So, that's what I like about 14 Count. I can pick it up and just put a little bit in it. I don't have to work on it for hours like my, what do you call it? My... 11 count because them I just sit there and stitch and stitch and stitch but 14 count takes a little bit more concentration for me I don't know why maybe it's just a head thing I, that's something in my head that I think I am so sorry I forgot the coffee cup yep I have my other coffee cup yeah no this is not the September cup but I guess I needed more coffee before I started all this right oh my goodness guys um, yeah, that's all I worked on. We'll probably have some reviews this weekend. I don't know. Yeah. Did get to go out in the woods with my daughter, but I can't begin to tell you. Uh, we didn't do too much. I might have some shorts with some of the little streams or something. But other than that, no. Um, uh, we just found three sticks and... We just kind of walked around here, there, and everywhere, and we were out by this little stream, and we were just standing there talking about what, you know, we were going to photograph or take a little video of, that kind of thing, and this bug flies into my face, and I'm going like this, you know, and it, I don't, it wasn't a bee or anything, and I went like that, and I scratched myself right there. And threw my glasses off. They landed about that close to getting into that little stream that was kind of moving kind of fast. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. 
And then prior to that, so my daughter, she goes, oh, there's a really cool place down here. We'll go down, right? So I'm like, okay. And it was like a little low incline. So we walked down there. And I'm following her, you know, with my camera. And, I, you know, I want to take a picture of this little pond, you know, because the water, we're gonna, it was going to be beautiful. We get almost there. All of a sudden, she shrieks so loud. I grabbed a hold of her shoulders. And I'm saying, what, 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 what's the matter? She goes, it's a cobweb. And she's like backing up. She trips. I have to pick her up. She just kind of fell and went, you know, jumped back up because she didn't want to be by the spider web. I'm like, oh, hell. I thought it was a mountain lion. I didn't know. I was ready to climb that small incline because I was terrified. I was like, what? And it's only a spider web. Okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through with the sticks. Spider web's gone. Can we go look at this now? She's just looking at me, glaring. <laughs> Like, thank God. Yeah. We we had a... I, and we were gone longer than some of the other times that we went. We went there and did all that. And I think we went to the thrift store. And then we went to the grocery store. Because that way she wouldn't have to come back out, you know, and all that. And that was the end of our adventure. So, yeah. Two scares and... I'm like, I didn't break my glasses and she didn't trample over me trying to get away from the spider web. So, yeah, we're lucky to be alive. We're good. Oh, God. All right. So, we're going to get this together. So, yeah. Next Saturday, autumn Saturday. So, you can work on anything on have You can work on anything your little heart desires. But that's just what I'm doing. So, We'll alternate between those two. I was looking for something else. Autumn. Good Lord knows that there's something in here that's autumn. I do have a separate bucket for all, not bucket, but uh, storage container for all the Christmas stuff. So it's all separated, but I didn't think that far ahead to I know there's got to be something that I'm forgetting or not thinking about. So we'll see what I come up with because I'm going through that room this weekend. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.